I know you know how to use a throw. Yeah, I do. She's a throat goat. I know. Let me suck it. <laughs> no. Please. I wouldn't, honestly, I wouldn't be able to get hard. Dead what? ass. Hey, 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 y'all. It's your girl, Fanita. I got a podcast. The show before the club. This is where we sit, chat, talk, and we drink. Bo- bottoms up, bitch. Woo-hoo. Hi, guys. Welcome back to a brand new episode <laughs> of Bottoms Up with Fanita. And she's sexy. She's hot. She's black. She's me. And this is a new episode. And I'm so excited because I have one of my baby daddies on the show. But, like, he's not my baby daddy because he doesn't like women. But I'm slowly and surely making waves and making my way (laughs) into his pants. One day, he will love me and he will want me. And his name is Manny M.U.A. Hi, you guys. How are y'all doing? You know, the show is called Bottoms Up, so I had to get the best bottom in L.A. You ate that. <laughs> True. You True. ate that. Gag you. True. You ate that. How are you doing, Eddie? I'm doing really good. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited. Of course. I um, love you. I love you too. I remember when Manny followed me, I literally called all my friends. I was like, Manny MUA follows me on TikTok. I've literally, I've literally made it. I'm fucking famous. No. When you DM'd me, it was actually the sweetest DM ever. I was so like. And we called each other. We had a little FaceTime, and you told me the tea. You're like, I used to watch you under my blanket. No, I in told college, you that. I told like you that. Real shit. No, that was when um, I make sure that we hold like sloppy drunk. But did you tell me that then? Yeah, I remember. <gasps> um, oh, when we met. Let's have that conversation. Yeah, we met. I was like, it was me, Leo, Spencer, mm-hmm. and then Manny Athena, showed up. Gabriel, all everyone. of them. And then Manny showed up, and I was like shitting my fucking pants. I was like, oh my god, Manny, like I love you so much. Like I've always wanted to fuck you too. Like no, literally, <laughs> literally just like that. So belligerent. Oh, and I was like, oh my god, I love you too. Like you're so sweet. And I'm not. I don't drink, so I'm literally so coherent. I'm always like, yeah, no, I love you too. You're so sweet. No, and I'm like, and I literally like face planted out of the booth. No, 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 you guys. Of- when I tell you. Fanita went down. Yeah, I literally like, I look like, I don't know how I even fell out of the booth. Full body yeah, on like, the ground. Like fell out in front of Manny. No, and literally tumbled down. The people turn around, they're like, oh my God, is she okay? And I'm like, I think so. <laughs> I don't know, but I think she's fine. She's been yeah. drinking. I've been, yeah, I had a little sippy sip, but. Baby, when you hit that ground. Yeah, that was actually funny as it was hilarious. That you, whole, we were a trooper. You got I'm not gonna lie. Like, I was mm. just like, we were all on a bender that weekend. That weekend was insane. Well, I mean, you weren't. Why would you drink? Either. I've never drank my whole life. I've never been into it. It's like never been my thing. I just really? It's like not my, it's, yeah, it's not my fantasy. I'm not really into it. Do you do any drugs? Sometimes. Do you smoke a little? A little. Do you like take the, what do you, what do you do to take the edge off? <laughs> no, honestly, like for me, I feel like I like to, you know, visit nature. Mm. If you will, I like to visit nature. Nature Ooh, likes to come over give me here. Give me the mask. Yeah. <laughs> I like to, no, I meant visit nature in the aspect of You the know, Manny, you're like extremely masculine. Does that like no. throw people off? You really Diva, are though. No. You are though. What do you what do you mean? Like physically or do you mean like, like physically like physically like the way you dress? Like I hugged Manny when he walked in. I feel like I was hugging a steel fucking pipe. Like Manny's <laughs> built as f- Well, I do work out. It's not like I don't work out. I know I you don't do, do stuff. Oh, that, I'm scared. <laughs> I was I was a meal in her eyes right now. <laughs> Manny, you've always meal. been hot. Like I don't know. Like, no, you literally I were remember, about to eat me. I remember like being like you were like my crush for so long when I was like a freshman in college. Like I'd watch your videos and be like, Fuck. like that's so. I don't give a figgity fuck about the makeup. <laughs> I, <laughs> I love that. But yeah, I didn't ever care about the makeup shit. Like well, I'm I was, so glad. No, but like not because of like no like LGBT kid. You you was hot, Manny. Like, you looked fucking good. Like, I didn't give a damn. Thank you. I I feel like that's, like, the whole, like, fun about doing what I do is that, like, getting to play with the androgynous. And and you know what I always loved what you did in your videos when Mm -hmm. you would do that with your hair? When I would be like this? (laughs) And I would have to move over to the side? Yeah, when you do that with your hair? I have to. It's like it gets in my way and these little, like, follicles just keep falling down. My hair transplant got me. (laughs) (laughs) What age? When did you get a hair transplant? Like, six years ago. Okay, do you feel like it worked? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're staring at my hairline. Like, that shit looks, like, f-ing plucked out. I'm not gonna lie, your hairline kind of looks like the McDonald's, like, arch. Oh, yes. I thought you were gonna say something like a f-ing doll head or something. No, it just looks like... Mm, no, yeah, I'm no, I have, I have a... <laughs> I have a widow's I'm peak. I'm loving your hair I've always had a widow's peak, and so, like, it just filled in the front more. Mm-hmm. So imagine how much more widow's peak it was. So, like, pre- I know you're, like, what, like, 40... <laughs> 38. Oh, you want to battle tonight. You want to <laughs> literally, serious, you want to go serious. to war. Are you like, you're like late 30s, right? No. <laughs> you fucking asshole. This bitch is 
doesn't even beat. She has no makeup on. I'm like, oh, she shouldn't take this seriously, huh? I do, but I'm and just saying. And I came in, and now you want to battle me. I'm not trying to battle you. No, I'm just trying to. I'm being serious. My young, very young 30s. Oh, oh, okay. Extremely young. Like 34. Two. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, Two. so like that means you got your hair transplant like what, like 2003, like two, like. Did so you I, do math? No, like you said, ten years ago, right? I said six years ago. Oh, I I uh, <laughs> thought you were in your forties. I'm so sorry. Okay, okay, I'm here now. I'm here now. Oh my god! How was that like recovering? This is before. Were this? Honestly, were you already popular bitch. on social it was media? A bitch. Yeah. Oh, okay. It was a bitch. So you use your YouTube money to buy, pay for it. Absolutely. Okay. Love. Um. No, honestly, it was it was hard. Like you have to like sleep at a 45 degree angle for like the first like two weeks because the mm -hmm. follicles can like die on you and you can't. Did you like, get lay the down. hair from like your ass? Like where did you get the hair to like? No, plug I don't it? have any uh ass hair. So you use your pubes. Don't have a lot of those either. So what did you use? Like your beard? Like what did you the use? The back hair. The hair in the back. Oh. The hair in the back. They pull it from there and they pull it into the front. Okay, nice. And it just gives you a little a little feathering, if you will. Okay, I love it. I love it. I really, I'm so happy I did it because I'm always very in the invest in yourself kind of mm -hmm. girl. I'm and like, you my do teeth, invest. My teeth. Wait, you, you, got, you have veneers? Veneers. I have a couple of veneers. Really? Teeth, hair, body. I just, I just love when rich... Um, non-black influencers come on my podcast and flaunt their wealth to me. I am not flaunting my wealth. <laughs> Eat the f***ing rich. I am not flaunting my wealth. Eat the f***ing rich. No, I'm not flaunting it, but I did get those things done. No, and like you should. <laughs> didn't, you, didn't you also get a BBL that was botched? I, it was not botched. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no I, I did get a BBL. But okay, yeah. you want to hear the gag? So yeah. when I was in the consultation, he was like, when he was like doing the pinching, he was like, oh, you have very like fibrous fat. And I'm like, what does that even mean? Oh, Why would what? you even say such a thing? And he's like, no, it's very dense. Like, it will stick well for the, the BBL. Okay, nice. Like, it's very, like, it's not, like, loose fat. It's, like, mm -hmm. hard fat. Okay. So then when I got it, he was like, oh, we put more in to make sure that it, like, doesn't mm -hmm. die off. Did and you, not did a lot you of get it a, died. Did you get a BBL to become better at bottoming? No. Did you feel like those I was always bones? Been no, did you feel like those bones in the back of your cheeks were like, you know, indenting on the men's thighs when they would thrust you? No, so you felt like you me. had it's to go get me. cosmetic surgery no, in order to feel that's that. It's... My journey. Okay. Uh uh. Okay. Always had cheeks. Always had cake. Okay. I was, I was already getting lipo, so they're like, "Do you want to put some in your ass cheeks?" I'm like, <laughs> "Mine as well." If you're well. already back there, yeah, like, mine as well. Why not? Like, I'm already getting lipo on my stomach and my flank, so like, why not just do a little? Boom. So do you know? Do you, so, since you had like, uh, like cosmetic procedures, do you think you could spot a BBL? Absolutely. I okay, honestly, once you start getting things done, you will look out for those things. Yeah. Like the veneers, the hairline, the BBL, all those things. Like once you get something because you were insecure yeah. about it, you know those. I feel like the only the thing I can probably pick out, I can pick out a BBL and I probably can pick out veneers. Especially when they have like those I love your teeth. Like Thank you. I'm not gonna lie, you and Gabriel got I don't know who y'all's dentist was, but like y'all's veneers look good. Well, I don't like the whole horse teeth thing. Like I'm not like into the that super white. Like the chiclet. Like no, that was crazy. I don't like any of that. Your and teeth I are very choose, natural. I didn't choose like the ultimate white color. Like, you mm -hmm. can choose those things. You can yeah. choose, like, all that stuff. So I was like, I want natural looking teeth that don't look like I'm wearing, like, mm. a head of dentures. Yeah. And that's what I did. So tell me about how many MUA came to be. Tell me about how it was growing oh up. Oh my God. Being growing a Mormon. Mormon. Yeah. That's actually. Have you ever seen the Book of Mormon? I haven't seen it. The play. Yeah. I haven't uh -huh. seen it either, but I know, like, a couple of songs from there. That was random, but go ahead. Um, So growing up Mormon. It was it was a very interesting time. I mean, I, I loved my childhood. I have the most amazing family in the entire world. But you know, growing up Mormon, growing up Latino, being gay, it's like such a that's very intersectional. It's very like a storm. <laughs> yeah. It really is like the perfect storm. So I think that for me, like I coming out, I didn't come out. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't want to. My parents were like, "Are you gay?" Yeah. They or, like, like do you like knew. boys? They like caught me like uh, flirting with this guy on MySpace back in the day. And they're <laughs> Damn. Like, they're like, who's um this person? And I was like, I don't know. And they're like, really? Because you left your tab open. <laughs> so I started bawling my eyes out. I was like, oh my God, like I, You're caught. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I do or not. And they're like, do you want like, my parents didn't know. Like they're really young too. And they grew up Mormon. So like my mom did, my dad converted. But they were like, we don't have any gay friends. Like we don't know what this even means. And I'm like, I don't know what it means either. I'm like in the closet like mm -hmm. i have no idea what's happening and like back then like being gay what you would see online being gay is literally like a dead sentence it's yeah like, oh, all those gays are dying from aids and it's like mm. especially oh my like, God, like being gay sucks or hate yeah. crime and all that crazy stuff mm -hmm. that's like what it was back then so when you see like gay or when you heard about gay 15 years ago it's like oh i'm so sorry like you're gay mm -hmm. that sucks so um I went to like this like kind of anti-gay therapy, this conversion mm -hmm. kind of therapy for six months. And Wait, then, did you like, like like live there or was it like? No, like I would just go every week. Like I would just go every week after school Monday. It was like a, like a group circle type thing? It was just one-on-one. -on -one. Oh. I would just one-on-one -on -one and he would like be telling me that like my anxiety is attached to my gayness and like the more anxious I feel, the more gay I am. 
And I was like, I don't think that's it. <laughs> I'm just I gonna go out. So I'm, not, I'm no psychiatrist, but I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that I'm doesn't that's really... not the tea. Yeah. When I walk down those aisles of the underwear section, I'm not anxious. Yeah. But I am feeling something down under. Yeah. So I was like, no, I don't think so. So then I ended up going to like a really dark depression for like a while. And mm -hmm. my parents were like, what's wrong with you? Like, why are you depressed? And I was like, I don't, the therapy's not working. I'm not, not gay. Like mm -hmm. I still feel it. And they're just like, okay, well, we'll stop going because like we miss you and like want you to be you again. Mm -hmm. So I stopped going and then became like a don't ask, don't tell for like years, mm. for years. It was kind of like, don't really talk about my, my mom. I'd be kind of like a little yeah. bit more but my dad. Me and him would not like talk about it whatsoever. Yeah. Is it like, is it good now? Completely like 180. Mm -hmm. Like they're like my biggest supporters, my biggest advocates. Like ride for me 100. percent How's they your brother? Know. They said no. What? How's your brother? Which one? You know the one that used to be in all your videos. Oh Nick. Nick. He's great. How is You're like? Sick. No, not sick. You're sick. I'm not sick. No, he's great. He's in San Diego. Yeah. Yeah. He's That's in San not Diego. that far. My, my other brother is too. They both are. Oh shit. Mm -hmm. Are they single? Is Nick mm -hmm. single specifically? I don't think so. You don't think so? That still leaves the door open. There, the door is open. Okay. But I don't think that. I don't think. Do you think he Nick is. will find me attractive? I think so. You're an attractive lady. Thank you. So you think <laughs> you're so a gorgeous lady? So you think Nick will f me? I didn't say all that. Nick, if you're watching now, this, no, I didn't say and Nick, if you're all watching this, that. Because like Nick is fine as. F He's very handsome. Like I'm not gonna lie, the jeans in the MUA like <laughs> jeans. The pool? MUA, not good chairs. The <laughs> MUA. No, like, the jeans in the MUA. Y'all, y'all are Thank good you. looking men. Thank you. I appreciate like that. I remember any any video that had Nick got a click for me. Whoo! Wow. It, was, it wasn't me. It I'm about was to Nick. foam at the fucking mouth. I remember like you have just, fucking rabies. Yeah, I'm not gonna you lie. Have I dick remember. Rabies, dude. I remember watching like y'all's videos when he would be in them. And I'm like, bro, this is actually my horniness skill is off the fucking charts. And you're like opening up fucking foundation and goddamn A concealer. Snail trail. Yeah. And I'd be like, this these boys are hot as there. Yeah, but tell him to call me actually. Cause I'm, I'm old enough now. Cause I feel like I was like a little too young. <laughs> <laughs> but now I'm 25. Like, hey, how's Nick? How old is he? 28. Yeah. Oh He's shit! He's not even like. How does your other brother? <laughs> the, 24. Ooh. We're all four years apart. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I don't. I feel sick. I'm gonna go home. <laughs> it's been so much fun. Are you close with your brothers? Yeah, I am. Like, like super the, close. Like they're the best. Yeah. Um. Well, Nick used to live with me forever. Mm -hmm. Like he was living with the. So he was a bum. Out here. No, <laughs> but I was like, I don't want to wanna move to, I don't want to like live in LA by myself. Mm -hmm. So I was kind of like, can you do stuff from work out here with me? And mm -hmm. so he just moved back recently. Where are you from? Um, San Diego. Oh, oh okay. Uh -huh. So I was like, can you just like move up there with me? Mm -hmm. So he was with me like all this time that he, I was here and he would help me with stuff too. Um, but now I'm like, no, like you can go back, like do your thing, live your life. What does he He's do? He's like, I want to, he wants to create a boba shop. Really? That's, That's so goal. cute. Yes. He like has like. Uh, and I'm like the little silent investor where yeah. I'm like, I got you. I'm going to like, let's make it happen. I think it's going to be really fun. So he's actually working on that in San Diego, mm -hmm. creating a boba shop. Yeah. If he like ever needs anything like promoted or wants me to come out to the boba shop. Absolutely. Like, you know what? That's what we're going to gonna taste, do. To taste, taste the boba. Yeah. You want to taste the balls. The Nick, the Nick the boba. The balls. Yeah. The Nick balls, bobas. Mm -hmm. Nick's bobas, balls. Nick's, Nick's balls, bobas, bobas, balls, balls, book, Nick, Nick's. I want to taste Nick. I'm just going to start. <laughs> so when did you start getting into makeup? It was literally when my restaurant that I was working at is was closing. They're like, you guys have a week to find a job. Like, it's, <laughs> and I'm like, what the f do you mean? And so a friend of mine had posted on Facebook. was like, oh my God, my Sephora is hiring. If anyone wants to like apply. And I was like, oh my God, I actually need a job like mm -hmm. desperately. And I had done drag like two times just for fun. Yeah. So I was like, I had played with makeup, but not seriously. Mm -hmm. So I went in, I applied to Sephora before the interview someone came in and i was wearing all black because the store hadn't opened yet mm -hmm. she's like i need a primer that's like really good for oily skin and i was like oh there's this one from benefit called professional mm -hmm. you should try this one out it's like really good for oily skin sold the product they saw on cameras like that had sold this mm -hmm. woman the product and they basically were like you're hired oh my god like, exactly bitch Is exactly it, how, long, how long did you work for sephora a year Okay. And then I went to Mac a year. Okay. And then once I was working at Mac is when I created the social media, like Manny MUA. Okay. And then I started just kind of like popping off after that started. And then I left Mac. Mm hmm And just fucking the rest is history. And then you became like rich and shit and you don't have to deal with it anymore. <laughs> I don't know about like rich and shit, but definitely like I was comfortable. Yeah. Comfortable. I was very comfortable. I was so happy. And then I moved to LA mm -hmm. and I was like, I have to like do, I always like, I felt like LA was such the place to be when it came to like beauty. Yeah. I was, like, I, it I was, was. Already driving up like mm -hmm. all the time to like events and crazy shit. And I was like, I finally had to like take the plunge. Do you like living it. in LA? I do like it. I mean, feel like I feel like it's home now. Yeah. So like to me, it just like feels like I just live here. It's like natural. It's my home. What part, what part of LA do you live in? The Valley. Okay. You have a house? I do. Oh. Do you, does your house have a pool? It does not, but I don't swim. 
Uh, really? I can't even swim. I physically can't swim. What? I literally can barely tread water. I'm literally thinking of like a dog paddling, like trying to cape up. That's, that's actually me. crazy. It's embarrassing. Like, you know, like, have you seen that video on TikTok that's like new ick unlock and it's like and that, a man that that's swimming that's, like the... that's trying to survive? <laughs> that is dead ass That's me. crazy. I that's love me. swimming. I really? Yeah, that shocks you because I'm black, huh? Uh, you're not going to get me. <laughs> you're not going to get me. I'm a professional. <laughs> But no, like swimming is like my favorite activity. I love swimming. No, I love that. That's awesome. Yeah. No, I, I just, I'm not like that at all. Like all my friends swim. I don't like the ocean it. though. I no, don't swim in the I'm ocean. I'm terrified of the ocean too. Like the, like the open water scares me Bro, too. like I, I, as soon as I get into the ocean and my feet don't touch, I start panicking. <sighs> I've yeah. almost drowned in the ocean too. So I feel yeah. like I'm very and then, like, like I don't know, by like, it. I don't, I don't see how people like swim in the ocean like so easily because the rate the waves be like knocking my ass out like Mike Tyson. Like I be getting beat the f*** up mm -hmm. in the ocean. The ocean like, said you deserve like, it. Yeah, dude, <laughs> the ocean like, was like, I'm going to beat you always, you deserve everything. I'm always fighting for my f***ing life anytime so I'm in the ocean. Mine. That's why I'm like, I can't stand it. Like, I never go unless it's like, I have an activity where I'm wearing like a floaty or something's like happening. Mm -hmm. Like, if I'm like going to snorkel, yeah. I'm like, okay, well, I have the floaties on, I have the little fins, I'm like, I can survive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But other than that, I'm like, no, why would I Every do that? Every time I go, like, we I don't belong up, in like, the ocean. Where if we, we did, don't. we would have gills. Exactly. But I end up always end up like topless and like, one time I lost a nose huh. ring. Yeah. Why do you end up topless in the ocean? Because like my swim tops are just are never like supportive. Oh, yeah. The titties come out to play in the ocean. You want to? Really you want to flash the dolphins? Do you want to? Do you want to play with them? You're sick. Do I want to play with them? You know, I was uh, I was on a boat for my birthday last weekend. Uh, also, thank you for coming to my birthday party. Oh, of course, I had so much fun. Yeah. I love. Did you see my meal. man's? I did. Wasn't Wait, is that your man, man? <laughs> it's complicated. But what's wasn't he, the was he? real tea here? I was so curious. I don't know, like, he's very I, handsome. He's handsome. Yeah, he's handsome as handsome guy. Yeah. I saw him. I was like, oh, he's cute. And I saw you guys together, like kind of like canoodling. And I was like, is that her? Is that her man? I was very confused. It's, 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 it's I was confused. Okay. I was like, I'm confused because he was confusing. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say, Manny? Nothing. I was just getting, I was like, is he fully beat right now? He had like a full face of makeup on, I feel. No. Mm. Wait, are we talking about the same boy? He, he was full coverage. No, he was Yes, he was, not. Dio. I'm trying to believe. I saw him looking at me too. I'm like, <laughs> he just has really good skin. Me. I don't think anyone has that kind of skin. He really does, though. Because I was like, I was touching his face all night. I would have I seen the resident. That's true. I mean, honestly, what if you went to the bathroom and you were white? <laughs> And that's not. That, but no, no, he has like a fucking. He just takes really good care of his skin. Good for him. Yeah. But you also love a gay, so I'm I like, do. You know what? But then it's also like I do like. He wouldn't consider himself feminine, but I do like like feminine men. You do. I mean, I honestly, do. if you were thinking that I was cute and you were yeah. living for me, you I like would feminine like men. Manny. I would have sex with you now. I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> like, and honestly, I would have sex with you with makeup on. Like I wouldn't. I wouldn't you, care. I with the lash too. Yeah. Well, I feel with like the lash might be. Oh, I last might be overdoing it. Okay, so just like this, like this. Yeah, because this like is like a chill. no makeup makeup. Right, like yeah. more chill. I, can, more I chill just vibes. like you just gotta like a little bit so of so like a on. lip liner and a lash now. Yeah, that's a little too much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, suddenly the lash and the lip liner is too much, that's but the blush is yeah, fine. Yeah, but like yeah, that's fine. Period. Man, you're just hot. Thank you. And like I don't know, like something about you just it activates you. Yeah, it just does it f***ing for me. Does it f***ing for me? Who do you think has or actually? What do you think is the most like overrated like makeup routine, makeup step, makeup anything? You know why I'm like not really into right now? I think it's kind of corny. Is that like the idea of naming makeup looks after like food? That to me is corny. Like the whole like latte eye, the strawberry makeup, yeah. the the cinnamon makeup. You know what I fall. hate? I don't like that. I hate no makeup makeup. Like I, I what do you I, mean? I miss the days where because like girls full beat or nothing. Yes. Okay. I miss key. the full beat days. Like because yes. I'm a full beat girly. I you like, are and I love seeing you full glam. Yeah, I I am a full beat girly. I don't do like the a little bit of concealer. Totally, totally. And just like a little bit of mascara. I just can't. Mm -hmm. Like I just I just miss wearing makeup. You want to go in? Yeah, because like I feel like I don't know when makeup first was started becoming like super super big. Like mm -hmm. it gave everybody like a little bit of creativity, and I felt yes. like just like people as a whole we all felt prettier mm -hmm. wearing more makeup, and Creative. then like. And then it was like, it was okay to wear a lot of makeup. Totally. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, cause you know, back in the days, like, oh my God, like it's cakey, whatever. But I feel like we were falling back into like the early 2000s way of looking at makeup. Mm -hmm. Where it's, it's like, like, oh my God, you're so heavy. Yeah, this is so heavy. Like, this is just like a light makeup routine. And it just like, also some girls that do like the no makeup makeup is like, you could use a little extra foundation, babes. I'm so sorry. It's not working quite the way you want it. Just maybe a thicker pot concealer. I plead the fit. <laughs> <laughs> no, but honestly, like I totally know what you're like, saying. Like fill your I, brows. Like you know like, what I mean. Like, I know exactly what you're saying. Like I, for me, like makeup is all about expression, right? It's like mm -hmm. if you feel fine as f 
and just a little dot of mascara and a little dot of thing, great. But if you feel sickening in your full face, then like let people do that. And don't say mm -hmm. that it's like, oh, your makeup looks too heavy or it's yeah. too much. And like you got to let people live their like, life I feel and like live now, their fantasy. Like for me, uh, when I go out, it's, it's always a full beat. But I if feel I'm like gonna be painted, I'm going full beat. Because like, like I feel like for me, this is how this is how it works. I've tried like the natural makeup and like tried to do like the no makeup makeup. But it's like, hmm, if I have foundation on, I need concealer because I need the highlight. Oh, f mm. if I put on concealer, I need the contour. You wanna keep adding? It, yeah. And mm. if I need the contour, I have to have the blush to like melt in the contour. Right. It's like, f well, now I'm full beat. I need a lash. And, like now I have to line my lips. Now I need the gloss. Mm. So like I just I physically cannot do it. You can honestly like I I can see such a like nice routine on you. Like that would be more natural and more. Mm -hmm. Every day and not so like full B and not nothing. Like, but I want totally like I want like a, a more natural like makeup routine. But I also feel like I don't like I don't know like where to start and like what shades to use. Totally, that in itself is like that and that's a journey. Like that's why I always like tell people I'm like if you want to like help shade matching, like go into the stores to mm -hmm. do it, like go into Sephora, go into Mac, do whatever you want to do, and like see what could work for mm -hmm. you, and then like use that shade and go base off of other things. Because mm -hmm. now a lot of like websites will offer like, okay, what shade do you use in this foundation? This is what it would be in mm -hmm. this foundation. So because like I don't helps. know if you're wearing foundation, but your makeup looks like flawless. Thank you. I like, you're, you're definitely you're definitely like I'm giving skin like tint. So I'm just wearing skin, skin tint. tint. Skin tint. So like I'm like my routine right now is just cream bronzer, cream blush, skin tint. Mascara. I mean, that's a long routine. That sounds like it sounds like so scary. But um, no. But I I wanted to that look was like, three like things, perfected. Though. Perfected. Yeah. I like that. I like you not wear you, you wearing concealer. You wear like just a little bit. I'm not wearing concealer today. Mm. Mm -mm. I wanted to like when I'm wearing whenever I'm wearing concealer. That's when I feel like okay, I'm like fully beat. Yeah. But if I'm just doing a skin tint and like bronzer and blush, I'm like. Mm. Look at me. I'm just so natural and girly today. Because like, I do so want to like I do want to like uh get into like more natural makeup so I don't have to like because like I'm not gonna lie, full glam does kind of look crazy in like daylight. A hundred. Yeah, it looks Baby, crazy. I, I, like when you're full coverage B and you don't take it down the neck. Yes. When you're cut like full coverage, full coverage in the sunlight looks insane sometimes. It looks spooky. Yeah, it looks a lot scary. of the time. Or like you know what's the worst kind of lighting is when it's uh, like it's like cloud like cast yes sunlight looks... i can handle the cast where like it shows every fucking pore Poor? Don't. it looks bad don't yeah. even look at me what don't do look you... at me i'm a creature of the night what's your favorite like skin product you're using right now okay so right now what i'm like really obsessed with what i'm wearing is the maybelline skin tint you should try really? it really it's so sickening because it has like sheer sheer to full medium coverage buildable and it has a really nice finish that's mm. what i'm wearing i literally love it and i, think I would like love to see you finish Let's talk about your dating life. Are you dating right now? I'm not. Oh my god! But I was like talking to this guy where I thought we were talking. And he's oh, like, we're just friends. before the podcast, I was literally saying that I think <sighs> Manny should be married. Yeah. So why? Why? And why do you think that? Um, because you're very handsome. You're very successful. Mm -hmm. You're very personable. Like honestly, despite Manny's tre treacherous past, uh, treacherous <laughs> past, <laughs> treacherous <laughs> past. Yeah, we're gonna get into that. But no, like seriously, like I love you. Like you're really like a, just a good person. You've always been like so nice to me and like so inviting and so welcoming. But yeah, you have like a great personality. You're very handsome. You're well off. Like I feel like people should be beating down your door to like be Mister MUA. I would. Yeah, that's what it is. And like I do, I will not What's lie your type? and say that like I don't have guys like trying to date me because I do. Like I definitely have you guys that are them. interested. I just don't want them. Yeah. I want what I want, and the, the guys that I usually want don't want me back. That's the problem. Mm. It's, and like the thing is, like it doesn't happen often. Like I'll like one guy every like six months, mm -hmm. and I'm like, okay, if it doesn't work with him, then I'm like, go. I'm gonna go fuck myself. Yeah. Like I'm like, okay, over. It. I hate it, and then I get over him, and then I have to try it all over again. Dating just sucks. Like, it does. Dating in LA sucks. It I sucks. hate having to restart every time. I hate the whole like life story bullshit. I'm yep. like, I don't. Can you just know me? Mm -hmm. Go watch my Get Ready with Me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Go take a trip down I'm memory kidding. lane. No, no, no. But like, just go watch something else because I just don't like the idea of dating. My mm -hmm. type, oh my god, I, I have tons of different. Like for me, it's like I just, it's a vibe. Mm -hmm. It's not even about like aesthetically a type. I do like guys like that are my height or taller, mm -hmm. physically, but it's more. You like, like a older, vibe. younger? It doesn't matter. Sexually older mm -hmm. to date like my age. Okay, a little bit younger. Wait, what do you mean care. sexually? Like how old? Like forties? Like, more. No, honestly, like you guys, I am into you like, daddies. You like the daddies? Like to, to have to have sex with? Yes, hundred percent. They know what the fuck is up, dude. When I was like 19, no, 21, I was like sleeping with like 50 year olds. <gasps> I know. Mind you, I'm like not really doing that as much anymore, but I was that girl. The last guy I had sex with, 45. And that oh, was that's last not, week. Oh, that's not bad. And that was last week. Was it good? Sickening. Oh! He you did pounded again? me down and I pounded him back. 
<gasps> it, well, we did like we double dipped. Now I'm eating his ass. I oh, eating yeah. his ass. A hundred percent. Eating his ass. Boy, would I like I to be a fly on the it. wall. No, and honestly, I love eating ass. So which really? is funny because like people are like, you're bottom, and I'm like, I bought him more, but I love to eat ass. I like to do toppy things too. Really? Mm -hmm. What's it like Tops eating? Up. <laughs> Tops up. Tottoms up. <laughs> I'm a totem. <laughs> Not totem. I'm a totem. Totem. I a hey, LGBTQ people that use that trademark it. Fanita came up with it. Totems up. Totems up. Totems. I'm a totem now. That's a new word for verse. Verse, yeah. A totem. No, it's a totem. <laughs> <laughs> More top than bottom. Totem. Yeah. That's or actually a bop. insane. A bop for a bottom. That's a like bop? the top. Yeah. A bop. Yeah. A bop. A bop. Yeah. I'm a bop. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I like dabble. That. I like that. You know, um, that's my favorite um, porn category. Bottoms? No, like gay porn. <laughs> gay porn. You watch yeah. gay porn? A lot, yeah. Really? I mean, yeah. I do too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, twins! I, I literally I talked about it on porn. like one of my podcasts, and like everybody was like, "What the hell?" But it's like, I feel like that's pretty normal, actually. Though, to be, I think a lot of straight women watch gay porn. Yeah, it's um, actually it's like after posting that, thing. after posting that clip, and basically forming like a book club of women that like watch <sighs> gay porn. I love that. It's. I, I I felt at home. Like I found my people. You were at Cause peace. Because at first I thought it was like really strange that I did it, but it's just like. Is there something about it that just it I don't gets know, you they activated? They just go, gay men just be going crazy. They do. They go in. Yeah, they go. They in. They go in. I feel like honestly, last week when we were, I was hooking up with this guy, I was like, I should have recorded this. Like, it was so yeah. sickening. Yeah, it was so sickening. Um, and I was like, this is like, and I'm not the type that will record anything because I'm like, I don't even want to like have any. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Trail of anything. Mm -hmm. But th last week I was like, he was flipping looked, it and reversing it. He was just yeah. We both looked so sickening, and I was like, why didn't I do that? Like, would you? That would have been. Are you gonna, are you gonna link up with him again? Yeah. This He's going to become a regular for sure. Ooh. For sure. He's going to be regular. I like that. So when are you like, are you just not attracted to older men in like a dating aspect? Um, I would I would date older men, but a lot of times like they're, I don't know, a lot of the older guys that I talk, they're always like with someone and they're just like in an open relationship. Oh. And they want to like dabble. Would you ever, would you ever do that? I don't know. I think when I was younger, I was like, I would never do that. That's crazy. Like I would never be in an open relationship. Yeah. And now as I've gotten older, I wouldn't in the beginning. I would never be like, let's start an open I feel relationship. Like, I feel like never. you have like build a foundation. It needs to be like like 10 years in. Like I'm just, I'm not that girl. Like, 10 I don't years? Wanna, yeah. I want it to be about me in the beginning. Yeah. Only about me, just about us and our connection. When we build something that's like, maybe you've invested too much in me. Mm -hmm. I've invested too much in you. We're not leaving each other. Was that time you had a boyfriend? I've never had a boyfriend. <gasps> Man, you just made me feel so good about myself. I hate you. <laughs> I literally fucking hate you. <laughs> I've never had one. No, I've dated I go guys. Through, I've never been like I a go boyfriend. through like I go through like a quarter life crisis every like three months. Well, now you got a quarter. Aren't you like a decade older than me? <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to read you, and then I was like, she's gonna read you back. Um, but yeah, no, like, yeah. have you ever had a boyfriend? No. <gasps> Yeah, that's, so we're just f***ing flops, dude. I, I know. Like, we're f***ing flops. That's why I have a quarter life crisis every three months. When I was 25, I was like, oh my God, I'm going to have a boyfriend. And then it just didn't happen for another seven years. Bro, so when I was like 18, I was like, okay, the reason that uh, I didn't have a boyfriend in high school is because like, I went to an all-white school and they were racist and they didn't like black girls. Okay, cool. Okay. When I go to college, I'm going to have a meet cute, drop books, and then he's going to help me pick up my papers. That didn't happen. So then I just became a slut. So then I'm like, okay. And it didn't happen I, with your slut. You know, and then I was like, okay, once I'm once I'm stop being slutty and like working myself, like I'll get a boyfriend. And then no, this still didn't happen. And then it's like, okay, maybe if I work on like my mental health, that still didn't happen. And then, now, now. and then now, fast forward, I'm 25, and it's like, it's like I'm a goddamn catch. You are. I'm a fucking catch. Like You're a catch. I am like amazing, mm -hmm. but I feel like. Are you picky? <laughs> yeah, like See, I'm not picky why. in the I'm not picky in a way of like the boys that I have sex with, but like oh. there's. Like I'm picky in that way too, but like, you know what I'm saying? Like people that aren't my type can like slide in if like there's yes. something like attractive about them type. But like there is like a vision of the man that I want, and like he has his ha like they just have to have like certain qualities. Totally. You know what I'm saying? Like I'll mm -hmm. talk to boys, or whatever, but like it's just never ever gotten there. But then also I haven't I haven't even been on that many dates. I've only been on like one date my entire life. Really? Yeah. What the? F Go on more dates. But like boys don't ask you. me out. <sighs> I get it. Like, I trust me. Like, I if I, anyone can understand, I can understand. Yeah, I'm here with you as a single doll myself. Mm -hmm. But it's like, I always say, you know what? Like, when I was growing up or whatever, like I was so focused on my career and my goals and my life and like what I wanted that mm -hmm. I didn't kind of put dating to like the wayside. Like, I didn't yeah. really care about it as much. But now that I've like, okay, I've established my career now, I actually want to do it. Mm -hmm. Um, so now I'm actually really like focusing on like, let me try to find someone. Let me connect. Let me mm -hmm. date. Even if it's like not like. I don't want to. Cause you're a fucking catch. Thank you. Yeah. Um. I was like, even if it's not a forever partner, which is not what I'm like necessarily looking for right now. Yeah. Like, I'm not trying to be like wiped up. 
but I would like that experience. That's another thing too. It's like, what are the odds that like my first relationship is gonna be my forever relationship? You know, so I, I feel like I like need to date somebody. Like, you just know, what I'm saying, have it. just, just to have, to have, it have like the experience. Mm -hmm. But then it's also the like way. I don't want to date somebody that I feel like is gonna like ruin my life. Exactly, and also I, like, I'm like I don't want I don't want to be like destroyed by a man either. Exactly. What the f because like I have so much like and like I have so much trauma that I feel like a real heartbreak would destroy you. Yes, like would literally mm -hmm. destroy you from the inside out. Yes, me too. That's why I'm like I don't know if I even want. Like, do I want to deal with? Because like that's for the longest reason. That's why I never had a boyfriend. Uh -huh. Like, because for the longest time, like I was just like I just can't date anybody. Like, especially like when I went to college, I was like I can't. Like, I don't know. I feel like I had just got out of my traumatic household. Like, I was like mm -hmm. starting to finally like I was finally like free. Mm -hmm. And then I always felt like that. Cause sometimes like I'd have friends that were in relationships and like it just sounded like it fucking sucked uh -huh. to be in one. Mm -hmm. And then like I have a fear of being like controlled and like caged. Totally. And sometimes when I would hear my friends talk about their relationships or like hear what boys wanted in women, it sounded like a cage. And it mm -hmm. sounded like, oh my God, if I like date a boy, like they're gonna control me and then like I won't be able to like be myself or be Fanita exactly. because like they're gonna like ruin my life. And so like then obviously now I know this like just depends on the type of boy you date, but I do feel like if I date you need somebody, to date a man, not a boy. That's why. yeah, yeah, yeah. I do feel like if I date somebody now, and I really like, because the thing is like I love very hard, and I and I have so much love to give, but if like my first relationship ends up in flames, like I don't know if I come, I could come back. Like that's exactly how I feel. Like like I'm the exact same way. And like, I would God, be the crying for like thirty was six days and thirty nights. Like I would be crushed internally. For, like you would literally be written into the Bible. Can I say something that's kind of like f***ed up? Do it. Give it to me. Write it in the book. It's, it's, sometimes I feel like that, like, this is actually super, like, sad to say out loud. Oh, my God. Yeah. We're getting deep? Yeah. And bottoms up? Yeah. Give it to me. But, I mean, we got deep on bottoms up before. No, I love it. No, I like that. But sometimes I feel like in order to, like, really, like, fully love myself, I want somebody to love me romantically. I see what you're saying. Like, sometimes I feel like I want truly, like, love myself 100%. Unless somebody who doesn't know, because like obviously my friends love me and like mm -hmm. people online love me, but I feel like until somebody like falls in love with me, I won't fully like love myself. I see what you're saying. Which is super like, I need to go to therapy. <laughs> yeah, I was like, that's giving therapy 101. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I need to go that's to therapy. That's giving psych 101 yeah. boots. Yeah. But no, I understand what you're saying because it's especially like you want to be perceived been, in that way. Yeah, exactly. And especially if you've been told your whole life that you're a very unlovable person mm -hmm. and that nobody will ever love you that doesn't know you and nobody would ever like like you and find you beautiful and find you attractive with all that. I'm telling you, man, I'm f***ed up in the noggin. But like, so I feel like my whole life I've been like, oh, I just need a boyfriend to prove that like somebody that doesn't know me can't love me. Like, exactly. you know what I mean? Yeah, like to prove like everyone wrong, essentially. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. But that's more so like that actually doesn't have to do with like you. That has to do with like the perception of other people and like trying to prove them wrong. But that doesn't mean that you can't fully love yourself mm -hmm. and then add that into the picture later yeah. on. But like that... That's like more of like an internal battle inside. Yeah. And it's like that's something that you should, of course, like read into more because mm -hmm. you should fully love yourself at all times, no matter what. Yeah. And I feel like I've definitely like I feel like <laughs> for the majority of my life, I've hated myself like really, really, really bad. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like this year I've like trying. I'm trying to like mm -hmm. get out of like the negative mindset and always being like because I'm, like, horrible to myself sometimes. Like, yeah. I'm really, like, I mean, I feel like everybody is. Right. But it You're self-deprecating. Yes, everything. very, mm -hmm. very much so that. So, like, I feel like I'm, I'm getting better at being, like, more positive and, like, you know, loving myself more and, like, taking better care of myself and, like, you know what I'm saying? Taking care, better care of my health and, like, yes. just, like, finally, like, for the t first time in my life, I feel, like, happy to be alive. Good. Like, I'm so glad to hear I that. I feel like for, like, a long part of my life, like, I just, I always felt, like, one, that I was just, like, I was like a human being, like just floating through life. Mm -hmm. Like I never felt passionate about anything. I never like, you know, like some people like to dance. Some people like like to make art. Some people like to sing. Like I never had a passion. Yeah. Like I never had a passion for anything. I was just kind of a person. Like you know, like just I existing. was. I was literally just existing. Mm -hmm. Like, and I always felt like very ambitious list. Like very passionate list. Like I, I would talk to my friends. I'm like, y'all, I don't know what I'm gonna do in life. Like. I have no passion for anything. Like, I don't care about anything. I don't care to do anything. Like, mm -hmm. for the longest time, for, like, years, I was like, I don't really know. Like, we'd always joke that I was just going to be, like, in one of my friend's, like, basements. Like, like y'all get rich, man. I'm just going to come move into the guest house. You right. know, like, because mm -hmm. I was just a passion. Like, I didn't, I didn't know, like, where life was going to take me or whatever. But... Anyway, sorry, I went on a tangent. But no, I'm glad. Like, I feel like that's it's like therapeutic in a way too. Like to talk yeah. about it and like release that into the world. But yeah, 
I feel and like I people that, don't talk about it. Tra- a lot of that is like the childhood trauma too. Though. Yeah, yeah. A, a lot, lot of it, people, like a, a lot of my no be- structure. Either, yeah, a lot of my structure. behavioral problems are from my childhood trauma. Yeah. Like, and then I also feel like it took me like a while to acknowledge why I acted like why I acted the way I used to act. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then like. I need a fucking therapist, if <laughs> please. Have you ever been to therapy before? In your life? Yeah, I've been to like counseling, but it wasn't mm-hmm. like therapy. But I need like a consistent therapist, and I've been trying to find one um, in LA to like really, because I feel like I'm working on my health, and now I have to like really like focus on your my mental, mental health, because mm-hmm. like every mm- aspect of health, exactly, not just physical. Because my mental is still a little. Mm-hmm. Like it's 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 way better than what it was like five six years ago, mm-hmm. but it, I I'm still like up in like some of the ways that I think about myself or like even with like the love thing like oh I feel like I'm not gonna be loved until somebody loves me romantically you know what I mean right exactly but I just feel like there's just like so much that like comes with it and like so much trauma that I've been through but if anybody wants to be my therapist please anyways that's good I've been to therapy too obviously really how long have you been going to therapy well I'm not in it right now but I've gone through waves where I was like I feel like I just need extra little help Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so like there was like times like when um in 2018 yeah I went to therapy yeah (laughs) I sure fucking did. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about what being talk canceled, about exactly? Manny. Uh, let's talk about it. Like, you know, me and you both had contra- I had the Targate, you know what I mean? I had Tart-gate, my con- yeah, yeah. Targate. Mm-hmm. Uh, I dropped again. Yeah, that was yeah. So, okay. Obviously we know it's water under the bridge now. Nobody literally gives a f- mm-hmm. but when you were in it, what was it like? Like you're drowning. Yeah. It feels like you're drowning and you can't catch air. It's like the best way to describe it because like I when you're in something like that, you don't know what's going to happen because it's like you've spent your whole career or like what it feels like your whole life online to create this thing. And then once that thing gets tarnished or like wrecked and then like, holy am I going to ever be able to get back to this? Yeah. And then it's like you spend your whole time like creating this reputation, like Mm -hmm. putting out your best work, putting out your best self. And it's like destroyed in in a minute. Yeah. And it's like I. I do think it's like really wild to see that people can destroy someone so quickly based off of one thing, but all the accolades in the past don't add up to anything. Mm -hmm. Or when it feels like, do they not count for something like, okay, you might have been caught up in this moment, but what about all the other times where things were going well and chilling Mm -hmm. and like, what about all those things? So it is like a very wild feeling. I think for me, like when I dealt with what I dealt with, I kind of re- I got offline and mm-hmm. I reevaluated just like what was like important to me and like what I actually wanted in life and I think that for a long time I was so in the LA mindset of like mm-hmm. I have to do I have to be my enemy way I have to be the best I have to like be this person I have to have this like facade this mm-hmm. this thing um and after I kind of like let that go yeah and I was like I just want to like live and be happy because mm-hmm. I was very much living for Manny Amway. Now mm-hmm. I just like live for Manny, but Manny Amway is what I do. Yeah. Like, it's who I am, but it's not all of me anymore. Yes. Where at first it was. You put it all, yeah, like it. exactly. It felt like that. Is it anything like that with how you're feeling with Tart? Like, yeah, bro. Like, I. Because I remember you called me. Yeah, I did. We did. We did have a key. We did. We did. We did have situation. a pal. Yeah. But like, for me, like, I rarely ever got hate comments. Like, I was just Fanita. Like, uh-huh. uh, Fanita's just funny. Like, nobody, I would get like fat comments all the time or whatever, but like, Nobody would. I would. I was just not a person online that just got hella hate. And they like, weren't like, like shredding your character. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was just. I never got hella hate. Like it was all cool. Me and my followers were always cool. Like mm-hmm. it, we would always have a key, a laugh, and to see like so many people that follow me and that follow me for literally years mm-hmm. turn on me over a trip to Miami. Uh huh. It it shook you to your core. Did you I cry at was, all? Did you ever cry? I cried for like three days straight. No, literally. Same. So like basically when I was in Miami, for like a month. Basically when I was in Miami, I kept my cool. Like yeah, I did course, not cry. Like, I did not cry. As soon as I got into my apartment when I got back to LA, flood. I I tell you like three days in a row, I could not get on the phone call with anybody without like hyster- like I'm talking about hysterically crying. Mm-hmm. Like I would I would I cried and cried and cried because it goes from a place of accountability straight into cyberbullying. 100%. Or accountability, I'm sorry. But it goes from like, we're just holding her accountable to like being fucking evil mm-hmm. and like being like vile. And I feel like canceling is just a way for like you loser ass bitches that have always wanted to talk shit but never had a reason to because I'm not a bad person. Y'all just take that like opportunity just to start bullying. Mm-hmm. Like literally. Like y'all totally. just, y'all literally just become bullies because it's like in a, in, under the guise of accountability, y'all just start bullying people. Because then it went from Whatever the fuck holding me accountable. And I guarantee you, if I held, if I got like fucking 10 people that were talking shit about me, 
three months ago and told me like what they were mad at. They couldn't even fucking nobody even knows what the fuck happened. Like right, <laughs> to right, this day, right. nobody knows what the fuck everybody was mad about. But it's also like I would see it went from we're just holding her accountable to like literally whole comment sections just about my appearance. Mm -hmm. And what's funny about and ironic about me getting canceled in May, May was mental health awareness. So I guess everybody's mental health matters but mine. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and it's like, I actually do, I, I, being that I've done this for like 10 years, like I understand where people are coming from when it comes to like holding people accountable, but there's such a fine line between there's accountability such... and bullying, like you are exactly. saying. Exactly. Like, and then also it's like, hold me accountable for what? Right. Like, <laughs> right. I even, I am like, kind of like, yeah, hold what me. What was it again? Hold, like, the thing is, is like, there's always going to be a certain group of people that don't like you. And they'll, they're they going to try to... Because if it hadn't been, like, me going to Miami and that whole situation, it would have been something else. Right. Like, they eventually, were just waiting in the, like... And in then the also, I feel like anybody that has popularity, get ready for it. Like, it always happens. Whenever it, you have any yeah. kind of relevancy, like, it will follow you. Like, some of my closest friends, has happened to them goddamn three, four, five times. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's going to happen. Like, people are just not going to like you, and they're going to try to tear you down for whatever. I will say is, like... If I was going to get canceled for going to Miami, like, I wish I would have done something, like, crazier. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like spit on wild. somebody. Like, like, something wild. Like, yeah. beat someone down. Like, yeah, beat like, ass. Because, like, I feel like for me, like, I don't have, uh, like, a, like, I didn't have social media, like, in high school. So, like, I didn't mm -hmm. have, you weren't going to find any tweets on me. Right. You weren't going to find any tweets. You weren't going to find any Facebook posts. You weren't going to find any, like, and you weren't going to find anything concrete on me. Yes. So, people were either going to have to, like, catch me slipping in a video. Or make it up. Or make it up. Mm -hmm. And they just made something up. Like, and then the narratives that get spun is insane. And then also the way, like, I posted a video two days later and everything was back to normal. Y'all are spooky. You were gagged. Y'all are spooky people. It's because also, like, a lot of the times controversy online, like, it tends to move pretty it's fast. A slow, it's a slow, it was a slow news week. It was a slow news week. It tends to move really, really quickly. Um, and people tend to want to jump on the the hate train in some capacity. Yeah, of course. And like hate on you. And, and especially if it's it. like if it's like going viral and people are getting views off of it, then like people are gonna They're make doing videos. It. A lot of times they'll do it for the attention. They yeah, actually yeah. don't really hate you. Yeah. A lot of times they just want to like say those comments for like the most liked comment. Mm -hmm. They want to have a viral video. They want to have these things and these accolades based off of like your trauma, but not really realizing that it's like causing such distress. Yeah, and, and I it's think like, oh, well, I'm just jumping on the bandwagon. Yeah, and it's like, and it's also it's like I don't know how like in my whole time on social media, like no matter who it was, like no matter if anybody was getting canceled. There has not been a single point in my life that I have ever left a hate comment. Like, right. even if I've seen something that I didn't like, I would just scroll past. Right. I have never left a hate comment in my entire life. No matter if somebody was getting canceled, like, I might, like, make a joke or whatever, but I'm not going to be like, you deserve to die. Go to hell. F*** you. I hope you kill yourself. Exactly. Like, never. No, nothing, so like, deep. nothing like that. I agree. That's, like, that's literally crazy. Yeah. I've definitely, like, seen things where I left a comment where it was, like, someone, like, bullying, like, gay people. I'm like, girl, like, this is not the tea. Like, yeah. something like that. But I've never left someone like, you should go die and kill yourself. Yeah. That's, like, a whole nother level. Like, of, like that's just, like, psychotic. Literally psycho. Yeah. And I'm, like, so, like, I'm currently in, like, my block era right now. I'm in my block era, too. I'm currently in my blocking stage. Like, I'm, like, I'm so tired of, like, the same, like, narrative all the time spun. It's, like, I just want to block and move on. And then on and, also like, it's, like, I life. get comments, like, every now and then. Not not really, like, sometimes. But it's, like, I thought Fanita was canceled. Y'all have got to let Miami go. Let Miami go. <laughs> let Miami let it go. fall into the ocean and yeah. break off in the United States. Yeah, like, let Miami <laughs> go, y'all. Just let it and break then also, off. And also, I feel like people call it, like, uh, I can't believe she did all that to go to Miami. I feel like um, a key ingredient that nobody ever talks about is that it was for like the Formula One race. Of course, which is huge. <laughs> it's which everyone huge. like people like love Formula One. Yeah, it's like one of the biggest events in the world. Mm -hmm. Like hella celebrities are there. Yeah, like it's wild. Y'all just like they're like mask it as Miami, but it was for Formula fucking One, mm -hmm. and we were like, um, like track side with a pool and the Jonas Brothers right. performed. Right. Like, <laughs> like it was crazy. It was like it's an amazing experience. It was and a lot of people I was would do a lot so, less. They I would was, do a lot more for less. I like I like think back on it and get like just like a little bit like because I get, was having so much fun. Uh, to, I mean like even like when I look back at my thing I'm like oh my god I can't believe I was canceled for being a quote unquote bad friend. Like that was like my And it's also like why do y'all care about what type of friend you are? Totally. And it's like friend like being a bad friend to people who are like biased about you know a it's actually situation. like you got jumped for like being a bad friend and then they did like a like they jumped all four y'all uh -huh. like it was like a four v one it was literally like a jump yeah they we jumped like, 
And these like it was the first were, like big drama of the beauty community ever. Yeah. So it's like, it really was like it just got so big. I mean, mind you, there's been bigger in the yeah. beauty since then, yeah. obviously. But like at the time, it was like the the biggest and the yeah. first one. So it was. I remember. Like, I remember seeing that because like I was a Manny MUA. You know what I'm saying? I was a fan. Yes. And like I remember seeing it, and I was like, I don't give a f about this. Anyways. You're like, okay. Yeah. And, you're like, and, you're, and you're like, and you're like this. Anyway, yeah. so what's Bag. the best product? What we, yeah, what's the next product that you want to talk about? Yeah, literally. Well, well I'm glad I, I, I remember because like I was just like. I've always been a free thinker. I feel like a lot of people on the internet are getting sheep. Like, right. y'all don't do any research. Y'all don't go back to find, like, the source. Y'all just will see some shit that was cut, clipped, chopped, like, a fake tweet and just, like, spin a fucking narrative out of control. And then also now, knowing that... <laughs> knowing how quickly the shit blows over on the internet, if I'm ever on any sort of trip and I start getting canceled, I'm gonna just cut my phone off. Like, and, cause and like, then you get home, and you're like, uh. yeah, yeah. Then I'm addressing it, like, because like when I was go when I was in Miami, I was like, fucking freaking out, trying of to like. Of course, you were you were on the phone like this, like constantly. I'm yeah, sure. like on the phone, like freaking out, like trying to figure out ways to like die down. Like my manager was in Paris, like everything. It was it was a it was a perfect storm, truly. Mm -hmm. Um, but like now that I know how quickly this shit blows over, man, I'm gonna turn my phone off, go downstairs, and pop a bottle of Cosmigos. Like, <laughs> you're like I'm you're like I'm chilling. Yeah, I'm a, yeah. I'm a vibe. I'm a vibe, but. I don't know. It's, just, it's crazy how quickly the internet moves and like how like, but what I find hilarious is that every person on earth has done something bad. Of like course. said something bad, mm -hmm. thought something bad. Like y'all are bad. not yep. perfect people. So I don't understand why everybody acts like they're fucking saints. Because if I go digging and user one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve closet. You know what I'm saying? The skeletons I, are severe. Yes. They are real. Yeah, the I skeletons are crazy. I couldn't agree more. I think that that's like the craziest part about this in general is that like people have done, the people that are hating on you have done so much worse. Yes. Have done so much, so much but worse. Nobody about, nobody but nobody knows, knows about it. nobody knows about it because yeah. you're the one in the public facing. Yeah. So it's like you've done 10 times worse to me and a lot of times you're like just so sad and sad with your life that you want to project and you want to mm -hmm. like do all these things. But it's like, girl, at the end of the day, you're much worse off than I am. Yeah. Like you just caught me up in one yeah. moment. But and if they did a camera onto your life and your face. Yes, if I dug into your tweets, what would maybe I find? A lot. Yeah. You would find a lot and it would be a literal terror. And I feel like a lot of people, like people that can't hate on people that do. Exactly. Like you can't do it. So like you're hating on someone that is doing it. And then at the end of the day, like you'll always be a watcher. And I know my haters are mad as fuck right now because i'm on i'm on the crazy run like right you're like you're just living you're <laughs> yeah, living like, i'm like just do a banger ass birthday i got my podcast i won the prices right like period I hosted SS Fest. like my haters are mad as fuck. Like, they're devastated <laughs> like, they're watching you from the, the shadows hey, i'm great like, they're, they're mad literally as like shit. i get i get fucking bitch yeah like mm -hmm. i know they're Sick. I remember mm -hmm. um when my when the first episode of my podcast dropped. Mind you, unless you follow me on TikTok, unless you were like, unless you were following me and like keeping up my content, you would not have known about my podcast. Of course. But um, I remember like I'm talking about the within the hour that my podcast dropped, I had a comment that was like, I oh uh, like I still don't trust Fanita after the Tart thing, girl. Fan, super. Fan. How did you? A stan even. How did you? How do you find this is on another mm. platform that I'm not even on? Uh huh. Like, it's not even your you, channel. Like, it's not even my <laughs> it's channel. Not even <laughs> channel. That's why that is, that's like, why that's it's a when gag. I, that's when I, I feel like that moment when I seen that, you I was realized. like, these people are actually just insane. Because if you don't like me, you follow me to a platform that I don't even, this ain't even my They're shit. They're hate watching you. They're hate watching like, you. And then somebody literally commented was like, why are you here? This is literally the first episode. No, <laughs> it's the first hour of the first it's, episode. It's like, why are you fucking here? This shit just got uploaded. But exactly. I think it just kind of goes to show like that a lot of the times people that hate on you the most tend to be the ones that support you. Like, and the then also I what I and find, watching your content. Also, what I find funny too is that like y'all would not last, some of y'all like would not last 30 seconds as an influencer. Right. Because, like, I can see people who, like, are starting, like, gain followings or whatever, and they were, like, clap back to every comment or clap back to every, you know what I'm saying? It's like it's uh, hard not to in the is, beginning. Yeah, it's, it's hard not to in the it's beginning. It's hard not to because yeah. like, you're like, no, you're not understanding what I'm saying. And then I look, I look and I, like, I see things like that. I'm like, hmm, I remember those days. But, like, you just got to, like, you just got to start letting the punches roll, man. I, I, you really do. And I even me, like, sometimes there's moments where I'm, like, I'll go back to that old day where I was, like, oh, I just want to say something. I just want to, like, yeah, be like, a complete Yeah, like, and then, bitch. like, sometimes I'll clap back because if it's, like, mm. if it's, like, a low-hanging fruit. Sometimes it feels good. Because I remember, um... 
there was like a comment one time about because I made a joke about this British boys that got sucked. Anyway, like some like bitch with like ten kids was like, uh, she can tell that like she didn't want to tell the story, but like she's such a slut that she just had to. I was like, girl, you have ten kids, you've sucked a lot of dick, like. Trust you, and believe. You did. And then suddenly there was crickets after that. It was yeah, nothing. yeah, it was crickets. It was crickets. Like shut the f up. Like I don't know. Like people just. They just want like, to say something. They, they just want, want to, say. to say something, and it's like enjoy the fucking content, like or if you don't or like don't me, don't scroll past. Yeah, hard. like I don't give a. F mm -hmm. Like y'all liking well. me and disliking me. Obviously, I love the people that love me, but the people that don't like me, like you hold no weight and no significance in my life. Do you know what's funny? Like I recently was like reviewing stuff, and someone was like, "I don't like the way you reviewed this, and I don't think you did it well," and da da da. And I was like, truly from the bottom of my heart, if you do not have accolades, or if you don't, are not a makeup artist, or if you don't know how to do your makeup you don't even wear foundation mm -hmm. i do not take your opinion seriously yeah i and i never will like i understand what you're saying when it comes to like oh well i feel like you didn't do so that's fine but if you are not a peer of mine if you don't have yeah. if you hold no merit you have no weight on my exactly like i on guess, my opinion and something. then also what i realized after like everybody was hating me and i was like getting canceled or whatever uh the people that write my checks like me <laughs> and that's the real Trust tea. and believe that and that's the gag and that is the gag girl like, like i couldn't agree more it's like at the end of the day like do not take people who don't do what you do or can do what you do their opinion like to a, whole, a high value you yeah, can't you can't and that's when you're gonna like start to like freak out about every single little mm -hmm. thing it's like because like girl, i was like because i was like oh my god like am i gonna like lose money am i gonna da, da, da. Mm -hmm. literally nobody in my real life gave a I was still getting invited everywhere. Like, mm -hmm. like it was almost, it's almost like um, people think that like your world is crashing down. Like I could go to the McDonald's drive thru and order my food and nobody's going to like throw a milkshake in my face. But, like, you it's, know it's, it's, but when you're in it, sometimes you feel like the world yeah. against you. Yeah, it, it really you does do feel, feel like that. Like, I'm like, oh my God, if I do go to McDonald's, but it's then it's throw, also like, once you zoom out, it's like, it was a just a, like a lot. It was like an anthill. Mm -hmm. Like it was just like right in that moment, it was just a, a lot of people, but on the bigger scale, it wasn't. Exactly. And I think a lot of people that f with you, like, they get it. Yeah. I think a lot of people that, like, understand, like, that really, like, get you or seems like they get me and, like, they were there. They understand, like, where your intention was. Like, mm -hmm. it was never, like, bad intention. I think that intention is so important. And for me, like, I'll forgive someone who has good intention who mm -hmm. does me harm. Yeah. Rather than someone who has bad intention that, like, is my friend. Yeah. But I'm like, no, like, you don't have the my best interest at mm -hmm. heart. I will f with someone or, like, I'll forgive someone for doing something that... Yeah. You know, they didn't mean to hurt my feelings, mm -hmm. but they did. Yeah. You know, like that's important. Intention is very important to me. Okay, so now we're about to play a new game called Hot or Flop. Manny is going to tell us if the beauty brand, the celebrity, or the influencer beauty brand is hot or flop and why. So, okay. So are we going to do it together or is it just I me? I mean, yeah, I mean, we can. But I'm not a beauty girl, so I don't really know. We have Dragon Beauty. I don't think I've ever used a Dragon Beauty product in my life. Um. Okay, I will say product was hot. The product itself was very good. Does she good. even make, make them no more? No, I'm saying so I was going to say flop for the fact that it's gone. Yeah. The brand is no longer like, with us, I believe. Like RIP <laughs> to Dragon Beauty. She just did uh, that for the... the products were well made. That's Hot like, and the product flop for... The that brand. was just her doing like a like a side plot. She just wanted to do that. It was a side, it was a side quest. Yeah, side quest. It was a side quest and she did it for the experience. Yeah. Product was great, but nope, she's no longer with us. She's no longer with us. House Labs, Hot. Who, who's this? Who's House that? House Labs is Lady Gaga's brand. Oh, okay. Hot. Like they have such amazing products. Their foundation is like... My favorite foundation, the Triclone foundation, is mm -hmm. so sick. You would love it. Yeah. Medium coverage, skin like it's sick. Hot. Okay. Hot fire. Road skin. Never used it. I have to say. Is that the Haley Bieber one? Yes. Isn't that shit like? Isn't it bullshit? I don't. I don't have heard. I've never heard a good say, review about it. I would say probably flop. Flop. <laughs> only because there's not enough products. Mm. So I think like with like there's like li like a lip peptide mask and then there's a couple skincare items. So I was like, I want to just see more. So also, I'm tired things. of like every like popular... every celebrity comes out with like, yeah. I'm tired of every celebrity woman line. coming out with like a makeup line or a skincare line. We need more. Do we get clothes? I want. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get shoes? Do we have to get Fenty, skincare? Fenty hot ah, boots. Love love hot hot hot, hot. boots. Like oh this. My God. I mean, she has everything. Yeah. Fenty Beauty has literally Fenty Beauty everything. Fenty is my favorite makeup brand of all time. I love I love Fenty Beauty. I love Fenty Skin. Me too. The body the skin butter. Is amazing. Yeah, like. The makeup is amazing. Like, yeah. Everything that they do is so fucking well I done. I feel like I and the packaging like is amazing. And I feel like Rihanna cares. Rihanna does care. Like, have you ever got like you've gotten like the PR package from Fenty, right? I, Even like the packaging of all the shit. Stunning. Stunning. Like when I get like her Savage Fenty shit too. Like I remember one time she sent me like this big ass in like it's like a silver like briefcase and like thick as it was like a trunk. Like yes. I literally got trunk at the PR. Like oh my god. And that's expensive. And like expensive. It's as very expensive. But you can tell like Rihanna really puts like so much effort into. She's not gonna put out no bullshit. Exactly. Rare beauty. 
Oh, I like the blush. Hot. Yeah, I like the blush. I the blush is sickening. Yeah. The bronzer is so sickening. I use it all the oh, time. Oh, I just got... Um, if you have it, you should try I it. I just got her eyeliner, but I'm using it as a lip liner because like a lot of brands oh. don't make dark enough like lip, lip liners. liners. So okay. her like, brown lip liner that's an eyeliner, I've been using it as a lip liner. It's really good. It's I sickening. love it. Yes. They also um great product. I feel like Celine does care about her brand a yeah. lot. So I think that... I also like her packaging. Brand. Yeah. It's like nice. Yeah. Okay. We have a lot of hots. I'm glad. One size beauty. Also, Love. Also hot. 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 Also hot. Very, Bro, very good product. I, the one size concealer and uh -huh. the powder and uh -huh. the setting spray. Patrick Sickening. did his fucking No, he big did a great one. job. I think one size is very, very good. Has high quality product. Mm -hmm. I think that they're really, really good. And, you know, they slay. And, but also, I feel like his... Um, setting like the setting spray i love it but it's like mustard gas like it literally i have to hold my breath when i spray it <laughs> i literally forgot that shit like, literally is myself. so strong but i think it's like when it's strong like that it's like oh you know that's just yeah gonna that's just I gonna love it. that's I love gonna it give me some shit in the future kylie cosmetics i never used... say flop for me yeah i've never used only it. because it's like i feel like i used to really be into kylie cosmetics in the beginning because it was like oh it's about the branding and now it's like you know when Does she still come out they have every yeah they have like here and there but i feel like they have like they had it all they have it all and it's a little hard to kind of keep doing but then also i everything. feel like i feel like the main thing they put them on was like the lip kits but then like and that was the first that was and the then first also stuff. i feel like nobody's wearing the colors that she puts out right because i feel like when I remember when the lip kits came out, like she didn't make anything for black women. Like they were, it was all like hot pink, and it was all like just like really pinky pink lips. Uh huh. Um, but I feel like nobody like like there's so many different like lip combos now. Like you can you can really... get so much stuff. You can yeah. go Fenty. Yeah, exactly. Ooh. J Lo Beauty. J Lo <laughs> Beauty. She has like a it's like skincare. It's like a skincare line. Um, product is great. So I have to get hot for the product. I just don't see enough about it. So flop and then like the marketing. Aspect. Yeah, I didn't know that existed. Like I just need I need more. I need. He's more. actually being really fair. I'm What's just mean. Bitch? Item Beauty. What the fuck is that? Addison Rae's brand. It's only, a, I would have to say flop because they are no longer a thing anymore. Okay. They are no longer in I Sephora. I did not know all of these existed. Me knowing literally every single thing. Um, yeah, Item Beauty is like no longer, it's, she's no longer with us. R.I.P. and okay. Item Beauty. But um, the lip oil was sickening. Okay. That's actually crazy. Nimia. Hot. This is Nikki Tutorials' brand. Okay. Really, really good product. Has like the primer is amazing. The powders are amazing. She need. I want her to come out with more stuff. Mm -hmm. So I want to see more products coming out from her. She has a couple skincare things and like one and some glosses and an eyeshadow palette, I believe. This is the last one. Oh, we didn't put Luna Beauty in the pot. <laughs> Rem Beauty, um, hot. I Rem Beauty. Is that, wait, wait. That's that's um. Hold on. Ariana Grande. Yep. Yeah. Hot. Smart. It's sickening. Like, the concealer is really good. The, the there's a lot of products that are really good. She Do just you also think it was hot that she that guy's that girl's man? <laughs> Manny, it has been so beautiful having you here. I'm so I'm glad you had came. So much fun doing this um, video. This has been amazing. I've had such a great time looking into your eyes. We, we've laughed, we've cried. Yeah, we've gotten open, we've gotten deep. deep. The last thing on the list is to. F I'm gonna go. Okay. I'm gonna go before that. Wait, happens. wait, wait. Have you ever had sex with a girl? Never. I've only made out with girls. <sighs> Uh uh, I'm like I a gold never, star I gay never, dude. I can never meet the gay men that are like a little bit like still bi curious. But you know what's funny? I want to date a bi person. Like what? I want to date a bi guy that, that like f women. Where the bi man at? Like that's what I want. I love bi men. I'm obsessed bi -men are, with bi men. Bi, bi men are like they really. They're the best. Bi men for me personally, the bi experiences that I've had with bi men. Oh my god, they're nasty as. F for in a me. Good way. Good. I'm glad. For me, what I want is that like a lot of the bi guys I've like talked to or dated, like they didn't even mind the makeup thing at all. Like a yeah, lot of guys are like, like, oh, that's more, hot. Like, fluid. They're fluid, and I really enjoy like people that like fall for someone for who they are, and not just like, yeah. oh, you're not masked but enough. Like you're not like, da da da. I feel like that's weird, but I feel, also I do feel like in the gay community, it's a lot of a lot like no fats, no fems, no you know. It's very type that. Energy. It's very that. Because energy. like with makeup on, you're still very sexy to me. Thank you. I appreciate that. Like I would. I know you would. I know you would. And I appreciate that so much. Like, I love that about you. Thank you. I just need to talk to you and I get my my fill. Okay. Okay, We've had Manny, enough. tell us about anything that you have coming up. <laughs> We've had enough. That's been fantastic. <laughs> um, shout out to Lunar Beauty. Yep. You know, I have products coming in the pipeline. I just came out with setting powders, mm -hmm. which are so sickening. I'm obsessed with them. Um, you can just check that out at LunarBeauty.com. And then follow me on Manny MUA 733 on everything. <laughs> And you know, it's been me, Fanita, your favorite sexy black host. Make sure you go and watch my past videos on the Past Your Bedtime YouTube channel. Like, comment, and subscribe, and tell me your favorite part about this episode. And tell me if I looked pretty today, because I'm not wearing makeup, and Manny thought he could outdo me with his light makeup, no makeup, makeup. Look. I did. Um, I, did. It wasn't a he thought, that was He does look prettier than me today, but that's okay. <laughs>
Um, and this has been another great episode of Bottles Up. I love you guys. Bye, Bye. guys. Bye.